What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 4, Google Nexus 4 and uh, how to um, how to uh, unlock the bootloader and uh, how to turn on the USB uh, debugging. So okay, uh, I turned my one on but uh, if you have a Galaxy Nexus 4 you are not going to sh see here. Uh, see the develop, developer option so basically what you have to do is um, go to your about you are not going to have this developer option so what you gonna do go to first first you go to about you go bill number and you click on the bill number like five ten one two three four five when you do that five or six time I believe when you do that that's when this will open the developer option okay and then you just go in there turn it on USB debugging on after that connect your phone to the computer USB connect the USB okay and then you could close that then you go to full instruction and guide driver installation. Step two. This you could skip skip step one and go to step two. Then go to PDA.net driver. Then press OK. And then you have to follow all the steps. So an existing Android USB driver is found. Okay, I have it installed, but I'll do it again anyway. Okay. Okay. Here, it's install driver software anyway. Just have to wait. Okay. Click here, don't stop. It's okay. Press okay. Don't worry about that. Okay, now we should have all the USB driver and everything. So we'll do it. We go to step three right now and we do the full driver test if we have all the driver and stuff. Make sure your phone have a USB debugging on and is connected the USB connected to your phone. Now phone is basically the software is running a test connect with your phone to see if all the driver and everything there. It will put you in this mode. Check in fast build status. Device connected. Come back. Come right back. And if you do everything right, it's supposed to say success right after. But close that. Device is fully booted up. See, and a message success. That's when you have all the driver and everything installed. So okay, you can close that. Now, first thing you need to do is unlock the bootloader. So just click unlock, press OK. Now this thing will unlock your bootloader. We'll turn off the phone. Take the phone back into bootloader mode. So the bootloader is locked. This thing is going to unlock it. 
Okay, now you have to do this manually with the volume button up and power button to select. Now our bootloader is unlocked. Don't do nothing, just let it boot up. See the little lock open? Let's put loader unlock. This, this should take little time. Okay, remember, when you do this, it will wipe everything. When you do a bootloader unlock, it will wipe your phone, so make sure you back up and everything. I'm not just going to skip all that. Okay, right after that, what we'll do is, I'll close this every time the phone turns on, this thing comes up. Okay, now we're going to root the phone. So we're going to click on custom recovery, we want custom recovery with the root. And just click on root. Press OK. And now phone will get root. Sorry, because uh, I have to turn my debugging on. So go to setting again. See, I don't have the USB debugging, right? So, because when when my boot uh, bootloader was unlocked, it wiped everything. So now what we're gonna do is go to about. Then you go to build and you're gonna click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, you are now developer. Okay. Now if I go back, see that? I have developer option. Click on that. Press OK. Okay. Now we are going to click on the root and custom recovery. Press OK. So it's connected. Now it's going to root the phone and install custom recovery. Do, do not unplug the phone, don't touch nothing, just let it do what it's doing. Don't touch, don't do nothing. It will turn turn off again and turn back on. Okay. 
now it's flashing the recovery custom recovery you could always change that back to any recovery you want clock or mod or anything uh, this one comes with a TW or P temporary so it'll take it'll install the recovery then we'll take right into the recovery then take it right up now it's rooting the form waiting for device to finish boot up and now it's just pushing the file in there super user file Okay, now, now we are rooted. What we'll do is okay. Press okay here. What's that? We we'll just open the phone and just look for the super user. So here's the super user. Open it. Check. It's good. Don't worry about that. Now we have to install. Busy box. Granted. Okay. Now press on install. Close that. Install. Should take a little while. Busy box and super user. Uh, when you when the phone get root, uh, the file just get pushed in from the software, so you don't have to worry about downloading busy box. Okay, um, that should be it. And now you got a rooted phone. And uh, enjoy. And if you like my video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.